Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together in welcoming Arijit Singh. We request for everyone on the dance to have a photo op with Arijit Singh. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Space is Home and Beyond from Wellspun is the title sponsor of 9XM Dome. Musically yours, Arijit Singh now with Symphony Orchestra. The concert is powered by Karwale and Hangama while Triple. Yes, we'll be uh, entertaining questions related to the, to the concert. Hi, Arijit. Uh, congratulations, first of all, for this association with 9XM. Uh, I'd like to know uh, from you that what made you uh, choose the channel? What do you think makes it stand out from the other music channels? Well, uh, it's because of the musicality and the sensibility of music that this have uh, and uh, the kind of uh, generation we have for the music. We do corporate and uh, we uh, mix things everywhere. Like we. It's, it's in true sense we are actually lacking a lot of music. I think this channel stands out there and it's, it, it creates uh, awareness uh, to the music industry. Yeah, that's what I think. And it's your first ever concert. So how excited are you? Uh, you know, I am scared happen? actually, not excited. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, this is uh, not something we have uh, like planned and you know we're doing that. It's something that you know, someday we thought of doing it, someday we just uh, decided to do something which uh, we can't do, we haven't done before. So this is something which is really, really challenging for I think every one of us over here, me, uh, my management, my musicians, all the people associated with the show. So this is going to be uh, a challenge for sure. I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm uh, excited, but I am uh, more than that. And I'm, in a way, I'm scared to do it. Yes, we have another question. Hi, Ajit. Uh, Anita here. Hi. So, just wanted to know one thing. Uh, so, you know, your uh, this concept is with the symphony artist, right? Yeah. So, how uh, it's it's a, it's a symphony concept. Yes. So, what goes behind treating the songs differently? Because you're recreating the whole thing here, the original songs. So what goes behind that and can you talk a bit about the music producer or the musicians involved behind it? Well, uh, generally we uh, you know, uh, play with the songs. Uh, the arrangement we have in the Bollywood songs, we generally in my shows I try to modulate, I try to do different arrangements every time. So this is going to be another arrangement. And uh, about the musician, I, I have arranged and programmed the, the whole orchestra. I have my uh, sound engineer Sunny, who's uh, really helping me with the thing. And uh, the musicians that we have, uh, you must know the musicians. They like Adi uh, is on the guitar, then uh, Natasha is on the piano, Shirish uh, is on clarinet. They are helping in uh, the musicalities because they are, uh, you know, on that same page that we're working. So arrangements are not exactly symphonic like the way symphony is treated. Symphony doesn't need uh, uh, any microphone or stuff. It has a concert hall and you play symphony. You have symphony orchestra playing. But this is something which you can say this is a funk meets uh, orchestra. So I have my band which will be playing uh, different arrangement and uh, you know different songs and different treatment and the symphony would be there to just pick you up. So that's the concept. It's not exactly uh, how the symphony is uh, sung. What sort of preparation goes behind it in that case? <laughs> well, too much of preparation. Number, number of days for rehearsals? Or? Rehearsals, see, uh, together uh, I think we will we'll do uh, three to four days. Uh, but rehearsals are on, like everyone is practicing and I am doing my bit. And uh, this is my third uh, symphony show, and I'm still not like it's just, it's actually too much to handle because too many musicians and uh, the overall sound, and we record more than 190 channels on the show. Uh, technically, you know, but creatively, we are jacked actually, so we have to keep doing it and hope for the best. Yeah, 
they liked it well okay i didn't like it after the show i was not satisfied with the whole thing because i couldn't understand what's happening again i couldn't hear myself i was completely numb so but that show worked i think that's the reason we got another show in london so uh, we did we did rehearsal and we did uh, more 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 you know, more preparations for london show and i think london show i i liked doing uh, i thought it was better than dubai and i think mumbai would be better than london so it's a keep you know it's a ongoing process so what change can we expect in our jeet singh in a upcoming event which is in mumbai no change please don't expect anything <laughs> ajit jaise ki aapne kaha ki aap kafi dare hue hain to aap ek cheez aise kya karte hain jo stage par jaane se pehle aapko motivate karti hai aur is baar bhi aap wahi karne wale hain aisa kuch batana chahiye aapko waise aisa to kuch bhi nahi karta hu डर लगता है स्टेज के स्टेज में जाने के बाद अपने आप सही हो जाता है इट्स इट हैज टू बी देयर एक्चुअली मेरे गुरु जी हमेशा कहते थे कि थोड़ा सा डर होना भी चाहिए स्टेज से जाने से पहले सो दैट आई थिंक दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो कर लेंगे दैट्स द होप दैट आई हैव हो जाएगा जैसे कि अभी आपने जिक्र किया आपने गुरु जी का तो uh, क्या कुछ कॉम्प्लीमेंट मिले हैं आपको उनसे लाइव uh, परफॉर्मेंस के जब मैंने लाइव परफॉर्मेंसेस शुरू किए मेरे गुरुजी नहीं थे ही पास्ड वे 2007 तो उन्होंने वैसे देखे हैं मुझे स्मॉल परफॉर्मेंसेस जो मैं देता था पहले परफॉर्मेंस के बाद कॉम्प्लीमेंट तो मास्टर्स लोग नहीं देते दे ऑलवेज कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू बिहाइंड यू एक्चुअली ऑन द बैक सो बट आई न्यू दैट ही यूज्ड टू लाइक व्हाट आई न्यू व्हाट आई बीन डूइंग Okay, you have another question. Oh, yeah, on. I have a question question for Mr. Mazhar. Uh, uh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh you know, artists keep complaining about uh, lack of infrastructure venues in India. So, do you think your venue is equipped for uh, handling artists and you know, giving them the international experience in terms of infrastructure? Well, um that's what high I believe that was mentioned. Um it is it is a great opportunity for us you know to have got this venue we have been lacking a venue like this which is uh, which we call dome at nsci sdp stadium uh, it is our endeavor to bring to humans what what they actually desire through music through uh, love emotions you know the melodies that uh, that can actually bring these across so trying innovative stuff is what we do and uh, th that is the whole idea of course arjit ji being there we don't uh, it becomes all the more easier because no 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 the no, 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 no. self is really innovative <laughs> i must say he's really modest and he's really humble uh, the way he puts himself forward he's really good at what he does and i'm sure he's going to do really really well again uh, yes so that is what we do at uh, dome uh, we we are uh, our endeavors to bring these kind of experiences to the people with love emotion drama and uh, Give, it's given us that opportunity to bring the uh, bring to the people what they've been wanting all this while, and Bombay has finally got its venue. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here. Hi. आपकी एक आवाज़ के लिए सारी लड़कियाँ मतलब पागल हो गई मैंने अभी वीडियो में देखा। आपकी शादी हो चुकी है मैं जानना चाहूँगी कि आपकी जो फीमेल फैन फॉलोइंग है उसके जैसे कि आपकी वाइफ इनसिक्योर फील करती हैं। नहीं, बिल्कुल भी नहीं करती हैं। क्योंकि मैं तो दिखता ही नहीं हूँ
मैं से लफंगे की तरह घूमने लगूंगा तो शायद ऐसी गुड़ होगी ओके यहां पे बैठे हैं मुझे लग रहा है सभी लोग की इच्छा होगी अगर आप दो लाइन गुनगुना दें कौन सा गाना गाओ फिर ले आया दिल फिर ले आया दिल फिर ले आया दिल मजबूर क्या कीजे रासना रहना दूर क्या कीजे दिल कह रहा है उसे मुकम्मल कर भी आओ वो जो अधूरी सी बात बाकी है वो जो अधूरी सी रात बाकी Hi, Ji. This is Gopi here. Uh, Ji, once Mika Singh had told me in an interview that uh, Mika Ji, Singh and you are the Kapoor's of the music industry, especially when it comes to live performances. How? What? Did, what is your reaction to this compliment? That is his call completely. <laughs> That's not my call. But I really, uh, I feel good that you know he likes me like that because he has an attitude. Uh, and he is some personality, and a person like Mika Singh, if he talks something like that, I I really really uh, I'm really happy about uh, what he's you know is believing. So he believes in me. That's the most important thing. But I I don't have a call on the comment. Thank you. Have one more question. Yes, Mr. Bazar, my question is to you. Uh, could you please elaborate a little on your thought behind do musically yours? Sure. Basically, do musically yours is um, is the answer to our challenges, uh, which which have been brought forward in front of us to bring something. Uh, like I said, uh, what people really want is uh, the kind of music that they wouldn't have seen before, and that's what we're trying to trying to bring uh, stuff which has not been done here before, and uh, host different kinds of programs which can actually now come to Bombay. Since we have a proper indoor venue, and uh, don't musically yours, uh, don't musically yours. We want to bring that kind of music to them, to to the audiences, what they have been waiting for, or probably what they have not seen actually before. So that's it's bringing the real life to real life. That's that's how we will put it. Arjun, uh, hi. Hi. I'm Swagata from Soundbox. I would like to know that generally you have been typecasted as a romantic singer. So do you think that has hampered your growth in some way? Well, see, I haven't planned my career like that, you know. Uh, so whichever is coming, whichever songs that I'm getting, I'm happy with it. So I, don't, I really don't care about if it's hampering or not. I don't really calculate it this way. Thank you. Thank you so much. One last question. Arish, do you think that uh, in Western countries the kind of respect, the kind of commercial benefit which a singer and musician get in our country, I mean, when you compare that kind of respect to that kind of uh, popularity or in terms of commercial benefit, it's nowhere. I mean, what amount do you have to make on it? Well, uh, how about if I put it this way? Uh, what, you, what, what is your call uh, on Indian politics and uh, United Nations politics? It's the same way around. <laughs> See, it's, I'll, I'll tell you something. Music is not an alien industry. It's in the industry. Okay, everything matters. Your political situation, your financial uh, issues, your social issues. Everything matters. So, a country like India, where we live, love this country just because of the mess around. So, music is one of the factors that is will get affected, you know. So you can't really compare musicians abroad in India and how they are getting respect and how we are getting respect. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, suppose, talk about Zakir Hussain. He has a respect everywhere. He's a global person, personality. So it doesn't matter if he is not getting respect in India. It's He's a global icon. So there is no comparison actually. There we go. Thank you. So we have one last question for Vishal. Vishal has a question for Arjit Singh. There's a mic right behind you. Hi, Arjit. Uh, my 
Good afternoon, Arjit, and it's an absolute pleasure to see you in person. Um, we're really, really all excited in India and globally to see what Arjit now makes across in Mumbai per se. And with the four best corners of the country, right from here I went to 9XM, uh, to Doe, and obviously you who's here the entire activity, what specifically are your thoughts on creating the so-called Arjit Experience Live in Mumbai through India, please? We'd be more than happy to hear your words and thoughts on the same. Thank you. Well, I already told you I'm scared about the whole thing. I only, I'm only concentrating on the show and I'm really glad that this is happening, actually. Uh, the day we decided on the concept of doing symphony in India, it was like a dream and uh, we thought it would not be possible if, uh, if I don't do good, like in future. So, I'm happy that it's happening because this show takes a lot of life actually, a life out of a lot of lives. So everyone together doing it and uh, it's, it's actually a, it's actually like a dream that we're actually doing this. You know, I can't really believe that in India we can do such a, uh, you know, it's, it's very pricey, very costly show actually, that way. Uh, people are, you know, believing in us and uh, I think tickets are getting sold, that's more important and uh, my only pressure is I need to deliver right so that people, so that it keeps happening because uh, we, even in the like, creative infrastructure, if you say, we don't have musicians, that is the you know, greatest problem that we are facing now. We are compiling musicians uh, from everywhere, from Chennai, from Mumbai, Delhi. Kolkata. We don't have a symphony orchestra actually, but we're struggling. But at the end, uh, what I think is we're, we're struggling to do it. We're struggling to do it, and I think it will help everyone, like all the musicians in the industry, out of the industry. They, I think they will get inspired. This is something that I feel responsible to do it. So I think that's the only thing I'm uh, hoping that I, we, we, everyone of us, should deliver the best and make it happen for the people, for the music and for the industry. So Rajiv, thank you for making the dreams come to reality very so Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Arjee, We're done with questions. Uh, question, please. Yeah. Uh, Arjee, uh, in an interview, Aman Malik had told me that he wanted you to sing Suraj Aman. Aman? Yeah. He wanted you to sing Suraj Dubai, which is a very peppy number, which is not something that we have seen you do too often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So is there any genre that you would like to explore, something that you have not done? Well, yes, I would like to explore classics. I haven't done uh, swing, big band jazz swing. I, I would like to explore that. I tried to do that in Bombay a little bit, uh, but unfortunately that song didn't come. So uh, I would, again, I, I, we, we are having discussions with I, me and Amit. We, we were discussing about the same thing. Me and Preetam Dao were discussing about the same thing. I think this is a time we should do classics and, you know, because uh, jazz, big band, and swing uh, used to happen like in 60s and 70s. It used to happen. There is a big gap, so we should. I think that that's what we uh, we should concentrate on. So that's. Do you see you like in your future? Sorry. Do you see you like in your future? I can't get you. Uh, will you be doing something like in the near future only, or you, will you take? It's it's not up to me. I I would try to if. See, I am not a composer. I, I can't really compose and do it. So I, I would be waiting for composers to compose something like that and if I can deliver it. That's, I, I hope it, it works that way. Thank you. Yeah. Arjit, lastly, I just wanted to know, when uh, we are happy and happy, we are listening to your songs, but Arjit, who likes to listen to your songs? Uh, Ustad Bade Gulalai Khan Sahib, Ustad Rashid Khan Sahib, Ustad Amjad Ali Khan Sahib, John Mayer, Jason Maras, Michael Bublé, Michael Jackson. Yeah, this is what I remember now. This is all on my playlist. Thank you so much. Well, one last question. Yes. One uh, last. My question is to Gaurav Goenka, sir. Uh, I wanted to know that uh, we have such a wonderful event already lined up. What are the other events upcoming in the future from your end? 
So, as I said, this is our second event with Mr. Rijit Singh, and in future we have quite a few artists lined up, but uh, you know, nothing has been shortlisted as of now. But whatever event Meera will bring to you, I assure you, it will be one of its kind. So, you can look forward to some really good associations we'll have, and very shortly we'll be announcing our new events. Okay, uh, one last thing. To the officials, to all the officials here, uh, I wanted to know what made you choose Arijit Singh over other singers, talented singers around. Well, I have a lot of, I have a lot of his songs saved on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just a personal decision. Uh, Nine XM as a channel uh, plays the latest, plays the, the the hit Bollywood music. Right? There is a lot of play that Arijit's songs gets. Uh, on the feedback that we get from our fans on Facebook, on Twitter and social media where they kind of you know send us thousands and thousands of posts saying that please play this song, please play this song and a lot of them are Arijit Singh songs. So yes, who better than to kind of you know kick off this entire thing with him. So yeah, that's, that was our thing. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a big clap for Arijit Singh live happening at NSCI Dome 5th of July. We'd like to especially thank uh, Kapil Sharma, marketing head, Manex Media Private Limited, Gaurav Goenka, managing director of Mira Entertainment, Mazhar Nadiadwala, director of Dome Entertainment Private Limited. I thank the press for taking out the valuable time. Uh, we'd like to invite you now for some food. And thank you so much, everyone, today at this wonderful event. Thank you so much. Could we have a group photograph? Uh, thank you. Space is home and beyond from Wellsman is the title sponsor of 9XM Door Music the Yours. Uh, Arjit Singh Live with Symphony Orchestra, which is initiated by Mira Entertainment. The concert is powered by Carvali and Hangama, while Triple X Energy Drink is the beverage partner. The event is conceptualized and executed by Ranaji Events. Ladies and this is your host Bird saying thank you so much, goodbye and God bless. So, as I said, this is our second event with Mr. Rijit Singh, we one of the side. So, you can look forward to some really good association. One last thing, to the officials, to all the officials here. Uh, I wanted to know what made you choose Arijit Singh over other singers, talented singers. Thousands and thousands of posts saying that please play this song, please play this song, and a lot of them.